Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Purgatory 2, the sequel to Purgatory, which was an amazing RPG maker horror game where things just, they just went places that were amazing. And Purgatory 2 looks to be of the same caliber. Henry. Hello, Earth Henry. What are you just spacing out for? You're supposed to be walking ahead of everyone, not behind. Sheesh. Seriously, is this girl be more trouble than she's worth? So, is this place to mention in the rumor? The atmosphere definitely suits her, don't you think? Oh man, oh man, oh man, this was way creepier than I thought. Alright, we're here. What now? <laughs> it's just too late for me to back out of this now. Oh, Lucas, I'm so scared. Okay, Emma, this is your time to shine. This is the part where you act like a swooning maiden in front of Lucas. Don't you fret. We're all in this together. Oh, Emma's scared too. That's great. Maybe I do have a shot at going home. Lucas, this thing pops out. Would you please protect me? No. Yeah, of course. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me, Emma. I was just close to going home. Hee hee hee. You're my hero. Back to the topic at hand. What's on the agenda? Do we head on inside? You mean all of us? Isn't that a bit much? What do you mean? This sort of thing happens in scary stories all the time. If we all went inside, we're only going to get ourselves locked in. Well, you're right. I heard that happens pretty often, too. Way to go, Emma. As long as I'm not the one going in first. Teehee. Okay, so... Anyone got any brighter ideas? Let's see. How about we just have one person scouted out? What? Are you serious? Ah, I see what you're getting at. It's important to know how safe it's going to be first, right? Is Emma going to silly suggest that one of us should go in alone? Hell no, count me out. Okay, so who's volunteering? Well, you know me. I'll make sure things are A-OK -okay back here. Come on, people, one of you needs a man up. Not me. I'm way too scared, so... I'm sticking to Lucas like glue. Seriously, you two? I guess that just leaves me, huh? Um, it seems like you're forgetting someone, Oliver. Huh? Who? Didn't we all agree she's very reliable? She'll be, like, perfect for the job. This is exactly why I brought her here in the first place. Well, you don't mean her. Come on, Emma. Hey... Go and check it out for us, pretty please. Nothing personal. But Lucas is mine and Oliver's hot too. You, you're just in the way. Well, you're greedy. Hmm? What? You don't want to do it? Really, girl, are you kidding me right now? You, of all people, are going to go against me? There's nothing to be afraid of. So pretty please with a cherry on top. The nerve of this girl. Oh, I am so going to love ruining your life after we're through here. I know we can count on you, Henry. Oh, I can tell she's hating this so much. Oh, ho, ho. Phew, good. I'm just glad I know we're off the hook. Phew, give you a step up for us, Henry. Come on, hurry it up. We don't have all day, you know. Get a move on, you stupid slowpoke. Hey, uh, Henry. I know you and I haven't gotten to know each other well. But if you don't want to do this, don't be afraid to walk away. Okay? Also, I brought along a cleaver for protection. Take it. You need more than me. I see. We'll be waiting right out here, okay? Yep. Please don't hold this against me, Henry. I'm not going to ask you on a date after this. Henry, you're such a stupid girl. She'll be so scared of Friday in there. She'll come running back to us. Or better yet, what if she comes back with tears streaming down her face? Like a sniffling baby. I feel like that would backfire on you. The guys would be like, they would actually feel more protective then. Either way, I just can't wait to see how dumb she looks in whichever way this goes. <laughs> I can't wait. Huh? Man, I love this game. Did you say something, Emma? What? Is this? What's going on? Uh, uh. 
Emma! Hey, you ugly ogre. Leave her alone. Kia! What? Well, I'll just kill you instead. I am picky. It's all meat to me. Purgatory. Two. One year later. Ten is a cameo in the royal capital. And with that, this ends today's class. I want all of you to be careful when going home. There's been a lot of reports of hell beast sightings near the royal capital lately. Therefore, don't be alarmed if you see an overwhelming amount of knights making their patrols. The cause is still unknown on why these hell beasts are suddenly appearing. All I can ask is you please take care out there. Make sure not to enter any dark alleyways, narrow paths, or places where few people traverse if at all possible. I know I always say this, but please make absolutely sure to avoid the slum district at all costs. Guess it's time for me to head on home. It's hard for a day to go by without hearing some kind of report or a claim about Yennefer Helpy signing. And they still don't know what's causing it. Well, it has nothing to do with me. I should have known. Are you serious? That's crazy. Isn't it, though? You're so right. As usual, the nobility are making damn fools of themselves. To make things worse, one of them happens to be in all the same class as I am. There have been some strange rumors about her lately. But even putting those aside, she's still someone I'd rather avoid. That girl is M.S. White, a junior student who's a member of higher social class than me. When I say higher social class, I mean a way higher social class. Emma is a daughter of Grand Illustrious House White. Also, most people aren't aware of this, but Emma is an extremely two-faced girl with a heart as black as coal. It'd be appropriate to say she's the queen bee around here. No, maybe more like a tyrant. Either way, there's not much good you can say about her. Ah, well, in the end, I prefer not to get myself involved. It has nothing to do with me. Now then, let's get going. So Purgatory 2. The last game left off with a epic twist, to say the least. This game is supposed to be extremely bigger. Uh, I think they originally had like, what, three innings? This one has like seven of them. Different routes and everything. So, Purgatory 2. Greatly expanded. The epic of the year. Man, we are so like... We are so teenager. I'm gonna go on my TikTok. My teacher's in the middle of talking to someone who doesn't notice me. Just like everyone in my life. I don't have any reason to stick around. So I should be getting home. The girl here is an honor student who posts the highest grades of all junior high students. Her name is Amalia. For some reason she's always been in the same classes as me since middle school. I also haven't really tried speaking for her since back then. Or should I say, I haven't really spoken with anyone since I've come here. Well, right now, Amalia is currently preoccupied with her teacher, so we don't want to bother her anyway. Even if I want to talk to her, she'll probably ignore me. Now then, there's no reason for me to hang around here, so I can take my way home. Hello, I am your childhood friend, Route. Sorry, you've lost. I'm in the demon girls now. I'm telling you, if I were in his shoes and that girl tried to confess her feelings with me, I'd reject her on the spot without a second thought. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This boy is the son of a noble family. Well, he's more like some rich brat born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Nothing I heard about him has ever been good. Basically, the only thing this guy is known for is missing around with girls. And just the other day, you know what the girl did? She actually went over to him and confessed that she likes him. Oh, the poor guy. You kidding? 
Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can't believe she did that. She must have not realized how ugly she is. Who does she think she is? Yeah, if she did, there's no way she'd have confessed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm telling you, if I were in his shoes, that girl tried to confess her feelings for me, I'd reject her on the spot. Oh, ho, ho. Like, totally. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho. Oh, ho. Talk about Holly laughter overkill. Listening on in the gossip of upper class can be some scary stuff. I think I'll get going before they notice I'm listening in. It's not even the best part. You see, that boy took one good look at her and started laughing in her face. That girl started wailing her eyes out. You should have seen it. Her entire face looked like some kind of dumb puffer fish. Ah oh, ha ha ha. Oh, ho 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 ho. I can't breathe. Oh ho gross. Oh ho ho. Ah ha ha. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. This entire conversation is nothing but an exercise in cruelty. How would you make them look like the ugly and ignorant ones? There's a camera only lets in the best and the brightest. So I guess this means that everyone here must be pretty smart, huh? Nice. Going to school, or ever leaving school. Can I help you something? Ah, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. I'm just, you know, talking to NPCs. Again, terribly sorry. Man, that Emma, she's so cute. If it was just once, I'd love to go on a date with her. Maybe she start paying attention to me for her buyer an extremely expensive bouquet of flowers. Well, like a bouquet of, like, Ferraris. I can't believe guys like this. Yeah, Emma might be attractive and pretty on the outside, but beneath that is a foul girl with a pitch black soul. Why can't anyone see that? I can tell from his expression. He's not going to hold any sort of conversation for long. He needs to use the restroom. Holding your button like that is bad for you. Just end it already and go. Hey you, think you join a school club? No. I'm part of the illustration club. We draw anime. If you don't participate, can you at least sign up and look like we have more members? That sounds pretty bad. Too bad I can't join. This is already the leader of the Go Home After School Club. See ya. Please just hear me out. See ya, don't want to be ya. Please, I'm begging you. Give me two million right now and we got a deal. Huh, want me to pay you? It's not like I can't afford that, but... Hmm. You have to be kidding me. These kids are seriously carrying that kind of dosh. Dosh, grab it while you can, lads. Being wealthy is terrifying. Don't want me to go home. Huh? That Emma's such a cutie. Yeah, major cutie. Did you hear the strange rumors that were going around about a year ago? I didn't hear anything about that. What sort of rumors were they? It was last year around this time. Emma took a whole month off from school. That's the first time I heard of it. Was she sick? If you were asking her yourself, she'll tell you she wasn't feeling too well, but now I'm not so sure. Why's that? Because around that same time, there was an incident involving three students from our academy. You know the ones, right? You mean meatloaf? Ground beef? Oh yeah, I'm familiar with them. Come on, they suddenly vanished without a trace. If we call their names were Lucas, Oliver, and there was one other student, it was a girl. It's on the tip of my tongue. And then when the rumors were about those three students. Are you suggesting those three have something to do with Emma? The truth is, I was in the same class as her during that time. And she was kind of close to those two guys. Those two, no way. I know, can you imagine if Lucas or Oliver? Oh, seriously? I'm trying to put my leg here? Now hold on a minute. What that other girl? Were she and Emma friends or anything? Um, let me think here. Was that girl close to Emma at all? Actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> hey, hey, you don't come this far, just drop the entire subject last second. And with that, let's head home. Each and every one of these students loves spreading gossip and rumors. Is it just human nature to love that sort of thing? That reminds me, though. The rumor I heard earlier. I wonder if it's real or not. I can't recall all the details, but I do wonder if it's possible that those three students actually did go missing. Well, it honestly has nothing to do with me. Lucas, Oliver, and that third student are all people I don't personally know. Although, according to those two guys I overheard, wasn't Emma said to be close with them? That means that Lucas and Oliver are also members of the higher social class. And that girl, the third student, what was her name? I can't remember if the rumor mentioned it. Oh well. I should really be going home now. 
Oh, I'm so hungry. Huh, what the heck are you looking at? You got a problem with me? Oh, sorry. Man, that girl's scary. This has been a little off lately, hasn't it? Just the other day, this commoner who was acquainted with my friend's friend a shoplifter at this one store. He was apprehended by one of the knights patrolling the area. After that, he was taking some group up in the government. The worst part is I heard that this is far from an isolated incident. The same thing has happened to many others. The crime was only a minor misdemeanor. The guy still hasn't been released. Does that seem strange to you? That's definitely strange. The newspapers didn't cover that story at all either. However, if someone lives on the street and narrow, this doesn't really affect me at all. Those who break the law deserve the punishment they get. So you'd like to come over to my place? I have a pool and a huge garden. On top of that, I'm inviting a bunch of people over to the party. So basically, what I'm trying to say is... Um, I was wondering if you'd like to be invited as well. Uh, what do you say? Absolutely, I'd love to be there. Seriously, that's just great. Uh, I mean, I I'm really happy that you'll be attending. Also, well, what's the matter? We'd be alright if I stayed the night. Blushes. Y yeah, uh, of course. Uh, would it be okay if... Yeah, uh, and then you see, you know, uh... Damn fucking Normies. I hope you all explode. It's been dangerous out there lately, hasn't it? Now then, there's time for sure the experiment will be a success. Right then, let's go home. I should be going home. Oh man, all I hear is nothing but rumors of how dangerous the world has gone lately. I'm seriously getting sick of hearing it. I'm just a student that's tired from studying day in and day out. Why can't I catch a break already? On top of that, there's also the whole social hierarchy. The commoners and the poor don't hold any power. Even 70% of people in this school are nobility. In addition, I have to deal with the fact that that lady high nobility herself, Emma, just so happens to be in all of my classes. <sighs> Forget about it. Need to hurry on home so I can study and sleep. Huh? What's going on? Why is there a crowd gathered here? They rode up ahead. It leads back to my house. What's going on? Hey. Looks like some kind of hell beast appeared beyond this road. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You know, hell beast attacks. Extremely common nowadays. This is the royal capital. We're supposed to be protected. So how did these hell beasts manage to get in? A hell beast appeared all of a sudden. How frightening. There's rumors going around that these hell beasts look like giant spiders. Ugh, those eight legs. You can see me out just thinking about it. So we're taking a detour, which is going to lead to full life consequences. <sighs> I couldn't get back home. I have that many people blocking the way. There's another road I could take. But that will add two hours. In that case, it's faster just to wait it out. How do you know? So how can I kill some time until the turmoil winds down? Is this a coffee shop? I what kind of a place it is for it to be in a back alley like this. Oh well, I'll leave you busy and kill time. I'll try heading inside. It's not a front for some, like, spooky thing, is it? Welcome! Table for one? Do you have a stairs going down? Yeah, that's right. Please have a seat. Once you've decided what you like from the menu, let me know and I'll bring it over. Okay, I'll go have a seat then. The coffee is tastier than I thought it'd be. Too bad it's poison! Thank you for your patronage. Thanks, it was delicious. This coffee shop, even though there's not a lot of customers in here, this place is quite nice. Very relaxing, too. I should stop by every now and then. Especially if the huge amounts of homework school have been piling on us lately. Might not be a bad idea to come by and finish those up in here. I should get going. The road should be cleared up by now. Time to head home. This customer here seems like a regular run-of-the-mill guy. When I first came in here, I was a bit on guard. But if this is how the atmosphere is normally, I'll definitely come by again.
Huh? Hey, we're gonna have to take this detour. There's way too many people back there. This is a detour. There's Emma. Those two guys with her. They're the upper class guys that are in the same class as us. Are you sure about this? It doesn't look right to me. We know where we're going, so don't worry about it. You can trust us. Especially since we have no art. Meaning that we're gonna die. I don't know. I said we got this, Emmy. But since my subordinate takes this detour all the time. So I know for a fact that it's safe. A detour? That's strange. If I recall correctly, that road only leads to a dead end. Uh oh. So that's the case then. Uh, maybe over I'm overthinking this. There's been rumors going around about these two upper class guys. Basically, they've been teaming up to tease girls and that catch their interest. But I guess it hasn't reached a certain someone's ears yet. Well, you reap what you sow, Emma. I've always been meaning to say that. Feels good to finally get off my chest. But come to think of it, something seems off about those three. They're nobility. So why do they walk around the open without the retainers of bodyguards by their side? With what's been happening lately, that just screams carelessness. Damn it. I we should go check on them and make sure they're not going to get themselves in any trouble. Huh? This world looks different than I remember. If I remember correctly, there was supposed to be a wall around here, around here that would block the path. Oh, well, it is what it is. A metal pipe. I guess I could take it with me. Come bars and push aside. There they are. Um, guys, so like, I think we only need to pause here for just a moment. We don't need to do this. Oh, it's gonna be right, Ems. Ooh, oh boy. No, that's not what I mean. You guys should know better. I'm from the Glen Illustrious House White. You know what that means for both of you if you get caught, right? Do you honestly believe you'll get away with this? Huh. Oh, Ems, are you friending us? Sorry to tell you this, but your petty threats won't work. You don't have to worry at all. You can trust us. No. You said to yourself not long ago, didn't you, Ems? You were lamenting over your lack of a boyfriend. She sure did. The only person being worthy of being Ems' boyfriend is one of us. This isn't at all what I meant. Is that a wall or is that a pit? <sighs> this is so irritating. Hey, Emmy, why don't you come over here? We won't bite. Come on, it'll be just the three of us. God, I'm such an idiot. Can't believe I'm putting an eye out of trust in these two. These guys are seriously disgusting. <sighs> of all times, I have my retainers with me. What should I do? It's like what happened a year ago. I'm such an idiot, I should be smarter than this. Uh, hear me out here. I'm begging you, stop this, pretty please. You know, there's something else I'd rather do. Shopping! Why don't we all go check out some stalls, or marketplace even? Oh, you know what would be an even better idea? Why don't we go down to the beach together for some time? I just bought this adorable swimsuit the other day, and I hate for it to go to waste. Wouldn't you two love to see me rock that swimsuit out there in the sand? I guess not, huh? Oh, does this girl ever shut up? Nope. The entire situation sure is ironic. It also makes me want to laugh. I have to make a choice here. Should I stay out of this, or do I step in and do something about it? To be perfectly honest, I don't like getting myself involved in other people's problems. But I'm here, so... Maybe I should save her. I hate to see her like this. And I can use this opportunity to build a report with Crete White House White. What should I do? How will I go about saving her? I get them with this metal pipe. But it may not be the smartest way to go about it. They could pull their rank as upper class and land me in trouble afterward. You'll just have to kill them! Thinking about even more. This metal pipe is pretty heavy. One wrong move and I could accidentally- ACCIDENTALLY! You mean intentionally kill them with this? There's also two of them. Things could easily turn around and i will be the one needing saving. This is exactly why I didn't want to get involved in the first place. What to do, what to do. Ah, oh, here's an idea. I'll bluff my way through it. I'll just walk in, act like I know what I'm doing, and make up as I go along- Um, there's a giant evil spider. Huh? Whoa! Eh, good riddance. What the? What the hell? No way, that thing just ate him whole! Uh, uh, damn you! 
Yeah, no, you, you, you're not gonna outrun a giant spider. No! No! Yes! 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 No! No! What the heck's going on? Come on, Nimble. Compose yourself. Quit overthinking this. You need to take action. First, you need to get to her. Then take control. Pipe. Hey, Emma. It's time to move. Up, uh, up. Uh, but I can barely walk. My legs suddenly won't move. Oh, for Pete's sake. Eh? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, so it was a pit. Ow. Damn it, that hurts. Man, that didn't go as I planned. At least we're safer now. So you know spiders can just crawl on walls, right? Hey, Emma, wake up. That monster will be coming after us. Ah. <sighs> Damn, she's more hurt than I thought. Sorry, but I have to carry you. Uh, I'm fine. Can you walk? Yeah. Good, now let's get out of here. Are you gonna have a weird redemption arc? The monster doesn't seem to be coming after us. No, maybe binding its time. We have to get moving. You are a bully. But are you get eaten by spider tier bully? Hmm. I don't remember the floor of the original game fully. I can use these crates over here. Good, these will work. <sighs> Good thing there were iron crates lying around here. They're pretty heavy. That should help block off the path. <sighs> now then, I wonder if Emma's doing all right. No exit. So this game does have some kind of weird romance routes based on the girls or characters you meet. Uh, obviously, we're going to go for girl endings. So don't worry about what I pick or what not. This is going to be a multiple playthrough run for the most part. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, but my leg still hurts a little. I think I'll be okay once I rest for a bit. I see. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, uh... What's up? Thanks for helping me. Don't mention it. Uh, I have a question to ask. What is it? You're... You're that guy who was in all my classes, right? The be Apple Alfie? It's very like, makes me feel like an isekai anime kind of like thing. <laughs> Who else would I be? Whoa, so let me get this straight. I was rescued by the miserable looking weirdo who was always sitting off by himself. Is this really happening? Yes, it's anime. Talk about embarrassing. Sorry for not meeting up to your expectations, but if anything, I actually look like your typical anime protag, so I actually, I actually have, you know, meeting your expectations. Okay, but seriously now, this isn't time for idle banner. Yeah, I guess you're right. Especially when we both just witnessed two of our classmates being eaten right before our very eyes. <sighs> Sorry me, my big mouth. I didn't make you relive a horrific scene so quickly. Anyway, let's set that aside for now. I know we're both shaken up. I think it's more important that we dust ourselves off and push forward. Yeah, it's easy for you to say, but newsflash, it's not something you can do at will, you know. I don't know. I can do it. I guess you're right. It wouldn't do us any good if we pushed ourselves too hard. My god, Apple. For someone who's supposed to be the quiet one, you sure do talk a lot. Uh, why does this always have to happen to me? Why? Can someone just tell me why? It's just like before. Why must I suffer? Why? Because you're a bully! <sighs> now look here, you insistent jerk. If a girl happens to ball her eyes out in front of you, Maybe show some concern for her. Did anyone teach you how to be a gentleman? No. My bad. This may sound odd. I have this thing where I can read a person's true emotions and intentions, so I can pretty much see for all that fake acting of yours. Yeah, I'm a psychic. Yep, 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 nope, I'm seeing right through your lies, sorry. Uh, just what kind of freak are you? I think it's safe to say that if you're able to hurl insults at me, 
then you're on the road to recovery already. What? For starters, I don't have the slightest idea where we're at, but it's important that we escape as soon as possible. I hate to ask, but I'm gonna need your cooperation if we want to get out of here. Are you for real right now? You accuse me of being fake, and now you want us to act like nothing has ever happened? I'm a psychic. Okay. You wanna know my answer? It's this. Get lost, freak. Okay. Uh, I'll just leave you here. I don't even want to be anywhere near you, you repulsive loser. People like you are always spiteful and gross. So what the heck do you want me to cooperate with you? This has to be some kind of terrible joke. It's bad enough I'm stuck alone with you, of all people. Oh, and I bet you were playing this the entire time. You were just waiting for the two of us to be alone together so you could try and make a move on me. That's it, isn't it? You probably think about all the lewd things you have to do to me. You know what? You're no different than those two jerks earlier. Honestly, you men are all alike. You know what, I'm right, aren't you? You're thinking the exact same things as they were. I'm just here, lady. I'm, I just want to get home and watch anime. I don't know about you. Look at you. I'll take that song and says yes. You're never trying to defend yourself. Ebel, you are such a perverted freak. Huh. Okay. But, you know, you did risk your life to save me earlier. For that, I'm grateful. Are you a sundry? Like, what? Huh? So, um... Lady, I'm just trying to get home. You're making my life so complicated. I'll make a special exception this time. I'll cooperate with you just this once. Seriously, I don't care. Don't get me wrong. Think of this as your reward. No, I, I really don't care. Yeah. Well, don't just stand there. Say something. You finally done. I thought that fake act of yours would never end. I'm a psychic. Eh? Huh? What are you saying? I told you before. I'm good at reading a person's true nature. It's pretty clear to see that you put on that little performance in order to manipulate guys. You beat people into the ground only to raise them up. That isn't a big secret. You pretend to care after you've already berated and insulted them. Oh, and another thing. Lies also do not work on me. G Maybe I should take that dumbfounded expression of yours as proof of guilt. Besides, it's a good look on you. What is up with this guy? He's a total freak of nature. How like is he not affected by my good looks? I I'm reading that right now, lady. I, I can see your thoughts. Up until now, there hasn't been a guy alive who I couldn't wrap around my little finger. Uh, what am I saying? Those two jerks earlier. I couldn't control them either. No, they don't count. I refuse to accept that as a loss. They're simply too stupid to be controlled, that's all. I think you've spent enough time playing around, Emma. So with that out of the way, we can now focus on our main task. Is this still about us cooperating? Sorry, but no can do. Oh, that's right. Your leg. Yeah. Not only that, I would nothing to do with you. You freak of nature. I see. So you've made up your mind. I'll let you know then if I find a way out. Would that be acceptable for you? Yeah, yeah, just ripping going. Sure thing. So did you find the exit? Not yet. The heck did you come back? Are you just that stupid or is it genetic? Ebel, you are seriously the worst person I've ever met. Anyway, how's your leg? Still can't move it? Are you blind or what? If it was better, do you think I'd still be sitting here? Yeah, you're right. Well then, I'll be back later. Uh, hey, uh, no, never mind. What? Hey, Ebel. What is it? Um, could you stay here with me for a bit? I'm starting to feel anxious being all on my own. Do you want me to stay here until you can move your leg again? Y yeah, please. Um, Abel? What's up? You're quite a nice guy, you know. Uh, thanks. Abel, I've always known you as being a loner and a weirdo, but I've seen you in a new light now. Okay. I think I'm starting to find myself liking you. You are such a bad liar. I can tell you're lying for the skin of your teeth because it's clearly written all over your face. Damn. How many times do I have to tell you before you get it? It's pointless to lie or hide your true intentions written around me. Because I'll just see right through it every single time. Ah, uh, I can't stand you. You piss me off so much. Just what the heck are you? I'm an X-Men.
See, there we go. Now we're seeing the true Emma. Can we just skip to you being honest in the future? It saves me the trouble of dragging it out of you. Ah, just shut up. Are you really a man? Strip naked and prove it to me. I quit of the sexual harassment I'll have to report you. Hey, Ebel. Yeah. What kind of girl do you like? Not you. I have to choose that person like pretty girls with long hair and a nice figure. She also has to be honest, gentle, and not a vicious two-faced bitch. Huh. So you're saying that I'm your type? No. Do you want me to hurt you? There's some good bands. This, is, this main character's got some good bands. You know what, Ebel? I seriously think you're the scum of the earth. You're better off dead. Whatever you say. You're a shady, sleazy, creepy, zombie-looking pervert. Nothing but a toll loser. Whatever you say. You're a dirty, closeted freak. A parasitic pervert who belongs in a trash with the rest of the garbage. Whatever you say. Not only that, you're also a cowardly, barbaric heretic. I mention you're slow and useless, and a figured pig as well. Oh, and scummy and preferred it too. Whatever you say. Tell me what I'm wrong about you. You bald-headed cue ball. Stupid reverted Abel. Bald-headed. First off, I'm not even bald. All you're doing is finding every insult in the book to throw at me. Anyway, glad you got that out of your system. Huh. <laughs> Ugly preferred Abel. Okay, I'm gonna get going. You're starting to get turned on. Uh, wait, I didn't mean to... Ugh. Emil, please don't ban at me again. When you find a way out, I really want you to come back to me. Great, now she's playing dumb. Anyway. No, I'm not gonna ditch you, so you don't have to worry. Um, Ebel. What now? We finally get out of here safe and sound. Would you like to go on a date with me? Like, as thanks for saving me? Oh, I can't believe this. I'm not to see anything from you. Could this be your actual true feelings? Ah, uh, how did you know? Whatever, this is a one-time date. Don't expect another one. Just to say thank you. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't like this. She's definitely up to something. I should refuse while I'm ahead. Yeah, well, you're so cool. That's a lie. You're also kind of dependable. You're telling the truth. And I'm counting on you. Okay, that time what you said in your facial expression didn't match. So don't think you can fool me with that trick. Regardless, you're telling the truth. I'm calling on you, Abel. Do you want to count on me? That's definitely a lie. You say that because you honestly have no choice but to rely on me. Oh, if I ever find myself about to get cornered by that monster, would you be a doll and act as a decoy for me? No. You're telling the truth. Wait, you want me to be your meat shield? Abel, I'm really scared. Please hold me tight. That's a never lie. I can see your body tensing up as you say it. Let me guess, you're probably thinking that you, Abel, so gross, right? Disgusting, Abel, you better off dead. Damn. But I'm still counting on you. Then you'll write off my compliment as a lie, because you always see right through me. You're no fun. That's the truth. What are you, psychic or something? Yes. I'm just an ordinary person. Yeah, well, I don't think I want to be friends with you. You're telling the truth. But maybe if we're a boyfriend and girlfriend, while well, you have a lot of dialogue. That's a lie. You seem to have something on your mind, Emma. Emma, yeah, well, I... I want to go to the restroom. That's it, I never lie. How would you know that? Can you tell me exactly what the heck you are? I'm Abel. <sighs> what else did I expect? Fine, I gave up. I see. Hey, Abel. What? You don't have any friends, do you? Get. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you very much. The nerve of her. What do you want? Do you want me to be your friend? Saving? Yeah, I would like that. Oops, that's a lie. Yeah, I thought so. Come on, be a little angry at least. Ah, I'm so frustrated, I'm so offended. Oh, please, you call that angry? Put a bit more effort into it. Feel the rage boiling inside you. This conversation is stupid as hell and meaningless. Why am I playing along with her? Okay, we finally have exhausted all the dialogue. Oh my god. I can do save. Alright, let's go. Now then, it's time to take a look around. This place looks like it's some sort of facility. Maybe more like a factory. That's the impression it gives of all these metal pipes and iron walls. What is the purpose of this building? Off? On. Huh? 
Hmm. I like for something, right? This building's a lot more spacious than I thought it'd be. Then where is that exit? Hmm. And what's this one got an exclamation point? Is it like the bad one? Oh god, I have too many options. What's this? There's an enormous glass wall here. It's rather thick. So it's made out of tempered glass. If you ever were to swing my metal pipe up with all my might, I don't think I'll leave a crack. Seriously, what is this building for? Spiders. Area big, non-linear. Caveman brain, not sure where to go. Huh? The security door seems to be locked. Looks like I need some sort of key to unlock this. Well, there's nothing wrong there. Now we'll go to the right. Hmm? Seems fine. There's a key up there, though. Ah, so cold and refreshing. Looks like we can go in here, open this, unlock that, then go get the key. I suspect there's a lot of secrets in this game, or at least a few major ones. We're on the road to Viridian City. We're on the road to Viridian City. Check this one out. Hmm? Hey, shiny. This wall's made of thick tempered glass. I haven't really encountered anything dangerous. I'm a little surprised myself. It's been pretty chill. Mysterious stone. I unlocked a one-time table of Emma. What? What? He'll be sure to turn it down when this is all over. It said that something will happen if we want to collect all ten of these. Hmm. Well, at least we know they shine. At least one of them did. So it's not like we're completely uh, confused where these things could be. All right, that's unlocked. Should be good. What are Enri's up to nowadays? No, she's like a badass demon now. She must be around here somewhere. Another key. Two green keys. Ah, ah, ah. Mmm. Manual saves. Okay. So I can use these keys somewhere. One key. Two key. Yep, we need to put that save in. Waiting time. What am I waiting for? Just the elevator? Why did it lock in behind me? Okay. The galaxy is no longer at peace. Danger. This elevator took me down the floor. Come to think of it, this is the first time I rode an elevator. This level of technology. Who in the world created it? No, this isn't the work of one individual. You better ask what organization is behind- Umbrella! But whatever, I need to find that exit. It's possible I might have to go further down if I want to find a way back to the surface. That shouldn't pose a problem, since another elevator might take us directly above ground. However, despite this building being huge, 
I haven't seen a single soul around except for me and Emma. This doesn't sit well with me. Danger. And I've got to be afraid of. What is this? Start pushing this button here. Whoa, somebody showed up on the screen. Hmm, under passcode. What does that mean? Uh, it's way too modern for me. I don't get that at all. If I don't do something, I'll never get anywhere. Because it wants me to enter a string of numbers for the five for the passcode. It's going to be five digits long. Let's go back for now. Go to the right. Danger. Man, they really don't want me to like, worry about some kind of danger over here. And this door is locked and it's full of blood. That's okay. It's the worst that can happen. What the hell? Why is there blood all over the place? Ah, the smell. I have a really bad feeling about this. I've said it before and I'll say it again. What the hell is this building for? For a horror situation, that's what. No, no, that's not important right now. My top priority is finding an exit. Everything else comes second. Six. The sea, the sea of blood seems deep. I can't go any further. Also, God, that smell. It's just awful. This, this isn't normal in the slightest. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. Four. You? Four. Six. So we need five numbers, right? I'm gonna keep that unlocked so that way something evil can chase me later. Because it'd be funny. This is all locked up. Hmm. Okay. Nothing really special in here. I think I get the next room over for this large metal pipe. But I sense an R of something dangerous beyond. I'm not quite ready for this. Let's open this one up. Oh. Whoa, look at these giant spiders. Okay, no need to panic. They're on the other side of that tempered glass. Are they? Nah, I really question what this building's purpose is. Want you to be like mirrors? <laughs> What the hell could they want with these hell beasts? Forget it. I have more important things to worry about, such as finding a way out of this place. That one is pretty active looking. These spiders give me the creeps. Eight, four, two. So then, the other two numbers we saw in blood would be the final ones. Although we didn't specify what order, but you can brute force it from there. This spire so shows no sign of movement. However, that makes it just as the scariest amongst the three. Hmm? If I look closely, I can make out the shape of a green key behind it. Huh. Or now I can get my hands on it. I can try to break this tempered glass, but it's not going to give away so easily. Not that I want to do that or anything. Hold up. I think I can see a pathway to the key from the large metal pipe on the right side of the wall. It might work? No, no, what am I saying? That's impossible. And that's where we need to go. We can do it. Have faith. You just gotta keep the faith. Alright. Here I go! Hey, I go! Game over. Spider butt. Go, go. <sighs> this is bad for my heart. So it wasn't too bad. You just don't go to the south. It was still alive, but like it was very dormant. And I think we have a passcode we can work with here. And the colors on the ground or the order you put the numbers in. Which is pretty much what the paper showed anyway, so it's like Whatever. Well, it's a little different, but it's fairly similar. And four. 
Eight. Nope. I like how main character actually like said like, oh yeah, reverse them. Four. Four, eight. All right, that opened the shutters. Cool. On the road to Viridian City. Green. We're in. And they're going deeper. I still don't like this, like this whole waiting time lockdown thing. It's like setting up something. of the stagnant air. The atmosphere here feels very different. I should be extremely cautious from here on out. Looks like we got a map. You are here. Go down there. Okay. You got any of them loots for me? Looking for them loots? Them secrets, them shinies, them gems. Okay. Okay. And that's me. Hmm. What is the purpose of the green tiles? Is the ever one? Okay. And this is tying into some kind of... Ma hey, look. Oh, boy! And we are at the end over here. The symbol on that green sign. I think it's the mark emergency exit. And that means it might lead to a way out above ground. Now then, where's that lever? I don't see it anywhere. I could try pushing this button here. D2 people. I wouldn't have to push the other button afterward. Oh, I get it now. These buttons operate on a two-person system. I mean, I won't be able to do it alone. But this is a good sign. All I have left to do is bring Emma over here. Gold key. It's been on my mind since I've fallen down here. But this place is all beneath the royal capital, right? I would never imagine a huge building like this would exist below the city we live in. Now I wonder if Emma's doing all right. To be honest, I've probably left her alone for too long already. I should hurry and get back to her. Is there gonna be an encounter in the one of these parking lots? Because they, they're pretty big, in a way. Like an arena, you know what I mean? Well, there might not be. I guess we just take the golden key back and... He's on the one door. I hope Emma's still okay. Knowing her, it's entirely possible she went off by herself. If she did that, then that'll be troublesome for the both of us. I'm wondering if our main character is talking a little bit nicer because we talked to Emma more, or if that's like always like that. Well, I'll have to see in a successive playthrough. Hmm. There is that whole area there, too. So far, so good. Almost there. Now see if Emma's still where I left her. It's gonna be nope. Oh, no! You stayed. Wow. Phew. She hasn't moved an inch since I've last seen her. Thank God for small mercies. 
You took forever, Ebel. Jeez. Sorry about that. Things end up taking much more time than expected. So, did you find the exit? I found something that looks pretty promising. But I don't know for sure if it leads to way above ground or not. Oh, really? Despite you being, well, you, it looks like you might have actually accomplished something. Did you have to say it like that? Anyway, for us to get to this exit, we're gonna have to descend three floors first. So how's your leg feeling? Is it better now? I think I can move it now. Then let's get going. Yeah. Hey, Ebel. What is it? Did you run into that spider on the way there? Actually, there seems to be more than one of them. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Well, they were all caged behind a wall of thick tempered glass. There's no way they're getting out, till now. So you don't have to worry about them too much. I guess that's alright then. Um, Ebel. What is it now? If something happens out there, would you please protect me? No. I won't make any promises to be your meat shield, but I'll at least give it some effort. God, Ebel, why do you have to be so unreliable and worthless and disgusting? Now listen here, you... Forget it. You're just looking for an excuse to knock down my self-esteem, aren't you? Who cares what I have to say? Let's just going. Right, you are. Let's head toward that emergency exit. <laughs> hey, Ebel. What's up? I was wondering how do your grades stack up against ever junior students in our academy? Do you really think that's the kind of question to ask in a situation like this? Hey, I'm just trying to make conversation. I need to get worked up over it. Fine, I rank second. Whoa, second place. No way. Ebel, you must be some super smart genius or something. No, I'm just psychic. Still, second place. Then that means that there's no beating the all-time first placer, Amalia. That girl is just unstoppable. Oh, yeah. That's his childhood friend potential love interest that just has never, like, made any moves. Yeah, Amalia is definitely exceptional. No how hard I study, there's no defeating her. She's like an obstacle that can't be overcome. I'll have you know that I ranked 18th place. You lose. Cool, no one asked. Oh, you don't have to flatter me. There's about 600 students in our grade and I'm all the way up to that 18th place. I say it's pretty good, right? After all, our academy's national percentile rank is at its highest, and our school subjects are insanely tough to study for. Also, my parents are super strict and I have a lot to live up to under the great housewife's name, so I try to do my utmost, you know. So again, I say, that's pretty good, right? Wow, so amazing, yo girl, you're the greatest. Ugh, why do I even bother? How about you suck? So we don't have any friends. I don't have any friends because I watch anime. You can't lose what you don't have. Oof, it's true. But, uh, uh, uh. Don't look at me like that. God, the bants. The bants. Something's gonna happen. We're not just gonna hit the exit, I mean. Have you met uh, all our requests for a cast? Are we on an elevator? This is incredible. I can't believe this. This is the first time I've been on one. Hey, Emma? Yeah, what is it? I can't think of any organization off the top of my head that has the technological know-how and finance resources to build elevators like these, so I was wondering if any to come to mind for you. Eh, what brought this up all of a sudden? Don't you think that's a strange question to be asking right now? Sorry about that. It does sound a bit odd now that I think about it. I just thought you might have known something about this due to your connections with the daughter of Heinrich Milne. Well, I don't know what I don't know. Does that answer your question? Right. That makes sense. Hey, Ebel. What's up? This yellow thing on this danger sign. What is it? A boss? No idea. What well, if it's a monster that's even more terrifying than the giant spider we saw earlier? It probably is. Oh, Ebel. I'm so scared. And the award for best fake acting goes to... Yeah, You are such a degenerate, Ebel. Despite everything, what Emma pointed out is very true. 
I'm worried about what that danger sign is trying to warn us about. I should keep my eyes peeled from now on. I do have this golden key. I wonder what it's for. Let's check around. Where does it go there? Um, is it just me or does something smell awful here? Yeah, it does. I should probably not get too close to this area. You want to get some spiders? Whoops, this leads to the room with all those giant spiders I mentioned earlier, so... Yeah, I really don't want to see that. So let's get going. I agree. Hold up. I want to see something. Can we go in the pipe again? I have him here with me, so I don't think I should get too close to that large metal pipe. Nope. At least we don't have to hit the lever anymore. Hey, Emma. Yes? Can I ask for some clarification on a rumor I've heard about you? A rumor? About me? Yeah. It was something that happened one year ago. Now is not the time, Ebel. So sorry. What I mean to say is that... I need some time first. I didn't mean to pry. Sorry. Yeah, she's definitely trying to hide something. I shouldn't keep cry prying about it. I don't want to end up hurting her feelings. Boss fight? So, um... I'm sorry about what happened back at the elevator. I won't ask about it again. That's alright. Are you not concerned at all about it? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But everyone has something they don't want to talk about. So I'm not going to overstep my boundaries over it. That's all. It'd be best if I drop the subject and focus on what's ahead of us. Something feels off about this floor. Yeah, I feel it too. The air feels heavy. Thankfully, nothing happened when I last came here. But still, we shouldn't let our guard down. Let's keep moving. Don't you look at me. Oh, here we go. Huh? Uh, what's happening? Oh, hell's happening. It's above us. Well, your, 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 your art is a lot more creepier than your sprite. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, what is that thing? Is this for real right now? Apple, what do we do? There's only one thing we can do in this situation. Emma, we have to make a run for it. Escape from D033. Don't tell me twice. It's maintaining like a very even speed right now. Which I don't fully like. Like, it is perfectly paced with us. It's going to catch us at this rate because of that. Because its sprite is larger than our bodies. See it? Oh, God. Oh, no. Baga. Go away. Our only advantage is corners right now. Yeah, you can't fit. Emma, stand by the button over there. The door won't open unless we both push these buttons at the same time. Gotcha. No. Okay. Hurry, Emma. Now push. Good, the door's open. Let's go. Right. <laughs> 